Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I was woken up by a supernatural encounter. Hope you enjoy. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name's Paul. I'm a former atheist, now an evangelist. I'm a lover of Jesus, a lover of people. I'm out on the streets praying for the sick, sharing the gospel, and I work with some other people to minister to the homeless and those that are in need. And if you'd like to support the ministry, then please click the subscribe button, click the like button and click the bell for future videos. Over the last few months, the Lord's been waking me up early every morning. I've not heard an alarm clock wake me up for oof, about four months, I would think. But the other day, it was very different. I was woken up with the sound of a loud knocking and the knocking was so loud, it woke me up, bolt right up in bed. And I had to just get my bearings thinking, was somebody banging on the door, somebody banging on something inside the house? And I realised that it had stopped and it had been one of those supernatural occurrences where the knocking had just woken me up. And I was pondering what the knocking meant. And a little bit later on, I asked the Holy Spirit and he revealed a few things to me which I just want to share. The first thing is I want to just look at Revelation 3, verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and will dine with him and he with me. He who overcomes, I will grant to him to sit down with me on my throne, as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. Who who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The first thing that the Holy Spirit said to me was that this is about a waking up. That letter in Revelation 3 was written from the Lord to the church in Laodicea and he described them as a lukewarm church, neither hot, neither cold. And the Holy Spirit was saying that one of the things that this knocking was about was for the lukewarm to wake up, to heat up. And I just want to look at this verse that the Lord gave me in a little bit more detail. First of all, we need to recognise that there is a door and behind that door is Jesus. And we either have that door closed, like in the Bible verse, or we have it open in our lives. And if it's closed, then we need to open it. And if we've got it open, it needs to be open wide to let all of Jesus in so that he can come in in his fullness into our lives. That we have our hearts wide open to him, completely and utterly wide open, that he can infiltrate and be in every part of our life and it says if anyone hears my voice and opens the door I will come in and dine with him and if we hear his voice and we, and we let him in then he comes in to dine with us and when someone comes to our table to dine with us we serve them we invite them in we sit them down we serve them, we have a meal, we show hospitality, welcome, love, and we're obedient to looking after them. And that's what happens when the door is opened and the Lord comes in to dine with us. But he also says, and, and he with me. So that means that we go and dine with the Lord, which is a little bit like the other way around. So we dine at his table for him to feed us, feed us his word, for him to invite us into his presence. For him to take care of us and to serve us. And that's a two-way thing that the Lord is talking about here, where he says, I will dine with him and he with me. It's two-way interaction with the Lord. And if you're spending that time with the Lord and you are dining with him and you have invited him and opened your heart, then you will heat up. You won't be lukewarm as you spend more time dining with him, feasting on his word, and he talks about earlier parts of the Bible, feasting on his body, on his blood. And if we just partake of everything of Jesus and we serve him with his needs, his desires, then we are going to heat up because we're spending so much time with our loving Lord who desires to be with us. He was stood on the other side of the door knocking to come in and we have to let him in. But once we let him in and we spend that time with him, then the fire increases. We no longer are lukewarm, but we become hot. We become fire for the Lord. 
And that heart is, we start to share the gospel. We love people. We pray for the sick. We do the great commission and the great commandments. So that was the first thing that I saw from that Bible verse. The door opening and us dining with Jesus. But then Holy Spirit revealed a second part of this to me about the knocking at the door. And it's about how we get through the end times and are we prepared for what is to come. In Revelation, it talks about what is coming and there's lots of Bible prophecies about the last days, the end of days, and what we're going to start to see. And what the Lord showed me a while ago was that to get through those days, we need to be like the Book of Acts church. We need to be like a people of the Book of Acts church, where in the Book of Acts, there was great persecution of the Christians. And the Christians got through that persecution by being filled with the Holy Spirit, filled with the presence of God and being on fire for Jesus. And we are in the end times. And if you read Revelation and you read some of these prophecies, then it's easy to be filled with fear of what's coming. But fear is overcome by faith. And it says in the second part of that Bible verse, He who overcomes, I will grant him to sit down with me on my throne, as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. And by being in that place of intimacy and being hot for the Lord and being on fire and full of his presence and full of the Holy Spirit, then we find a place where we can overcome what is coming. We can be overcome. It's like Jesus overcame and saw the will of the Father to the very end as he was put on the cross. And then as he raised from the dead, he overcame because he was full of the Holy Spirit. He was full of the passion of Jesus. He was full of the fire of God to do the things that he saw his father want him to do. And it's the same for us. If we're full of the Holy Spirit, if we're full of the fire of God, and we, we allow ourselves to be led by Jesus, then we will be doing the will of the Father. And as things get darker in the end times, then the only way that we'll overcome is by allowing the fire to burn even more brightly. Things will get darker. Our fire in us needs to intensify. We need to be seen as a people of God that move and walk in power, in love, in grace and mercy. That's how we will overcome. And the Lord showed me a long time ago that as the darkness does increase, then our light does need to increase so that we're not consumed by this world but we have our eyes fixed clearly on Jesus and the things of heaven. In these last days the time is now to be ready. The time is now to have your door wide open to Jesus, to let him come in in fullness, to dine with him, to feed of his word and him to dine with you so that he spends time with us and we spend time with him so that we are then ready for what is to come and that we are full of God with our eyes firmly fixed on heaven and on Jesus so that we are able to overcome the darkness and we burn bright with the light that's within us. I just want to pray for everybody that's watching and just ask Father in the name of Jesus that you would soften hearts, you'd soften hearts that, Father, hearts would be open to you, to your son Jesus. That Jesus, there would be doors opened by people that are watching this. And if they've got doors open and they're only slightly ajar, that they'd be flung open wide to let your fullness, Jesus, invade and flood every part of their lives. Every part of their lives. The Holy Spirit, I just ask that you just come with power and with fire to turn up the intensity from lukewarm to a red hot for people to be shining bright to be preaching the gospel to be healing the sick that they will be full of your fire Jesus on fire for you an end time army for the church I just ask this father in the name of Jesus amen hope you've enjoyed today's video and I just bless you in the name of Jesus and I love you guys and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. God bless.